Well, one in five people in any given year has a mental illness. So that's almost a quarter of the population. Of those people, one in 25 has a severe mental illness that inhibits their ability to function in one or more ways. Hi, my name is Amy Silba. I am currently the manager of clinical development at the Visiting Nurse Association of Ohio. I'm Tammy Youngblood Trent, the new clinical nurse manager in our behavioral, well, we call it mental health mm -hmm. uh, department here at the Visiting Nurses Association. Our mental health program is very unique. Um, we have about 25 nurses who are 100% outreach. They only go to the patients. We, the patients do not come to us. Um, we will find them wherever they are. A lot of times people with severe mental illness, it's very difficult to locate them. They're on the move or they may not have a home to go to. Currently we have 572 patients. Uh, we have a large variety of patients. We treat a lot of different disease processes, uh, schizophrenia, bipolar, personality disorder, you name it, we have it. And usually people that come to us have a lot of physical comorbidities. They don't just come with schizophrenia or with depression. They come with heart disease, lung disease. Um, all kinds of different issues that need to be addressed. Diabetes is a huge problem. So they get holistic treatment. The other thing that I think makes us unique is our main focus is on prevention of rehospitalization. So we want these patients to stay at home, to be the most functional version of themselves that they can be, to be safe at home, and to learn how to take care of themselves. We are not in the business of enabling patients um, just to have a nurse for the rest of their lives. We want to teach them the skills that they need to be able to, to live on their own if that's possible, and if not, to be the most functional version of themselves in the home. We, we keep a lot of patients out of the hospital, and that is our main goal, to keep the patients at home. We go in and tell them that that is our main goal, to keep you home and out of the hospital. Um, and we're the largest nurse-based mental health home care in the state of Ohio. We're also the only home care that also has a designation as a community mental health agency. Um, so that makes us very unique. Visiting a patient in their home is crucial, especially someone who has a mental illness. They may be able to pull it together for 15 or 20 minutes for an appointment. So having a nurse or a social worker or a home care aide or a psychiatrist or any kind of person like that in the home with eyes on the patient, eyes on their living situation, their family situation, their socioeconomic status is key. We go in and the gas is turned off and they have no food in the fridge and they're living in squalor or there's a hoarding situation. People just don't volunteer that information. So to have someone go into the home is, is very important. So with our mental health program, we have a team of people that go in to help the patient if that's what's needed. We have nurses, we have social workers, we have mental health trained home care aides, and we do have a psychiatrist on staff that can visit uh, patients for, for special programs. So as a team, those, those people function together to help the patient become the most functional person, the most stable person they can be and not go back into the hospital. The social workers really focus on counseling, and, and that piece. The nurses support what the social workers are working with the patient on, but coping skills, anxiety management, memory aid teaching, trauma, depression, anxiety management. And then the home care aides really go in and they make sure that the patient is taking their medicine. The one thing we really try to do in mental health is have consistency. The same people are coming out to see you every time, so you get to know them, you get to build a rapport with them, a therapeutic relationship. And the home care really gets to do that because they're with the patient a lot more than the nurse or the social worker or a lot of people a lot of times. So again, we empower the patient to take care of themselves. We don't want to enable you, um, but we want to make sure that you're doing things for yourself. And that's, that's part of the role of mental health home care too.